may the triple gem bless you. You all are welcome to the second part of notice writing lesson. In the first part, we discussed the format of a notice. Today, we are going to learn more about notices. As I am going to start today's lesson with a question taken from a past paper. Okay, let us go to that question. Right. The following is a notice displayed at Vidyaloka temple before the Katina Pinkam. Right. Read it and fill in the blanks. Use the prepositions given. The first one is done for you. Yes, uh, this is a question taken from the past paper of 2018 Mulika Pirivena final examination. Right, this is the question. Let us get it started. Okay, this is the question. Notice the annual Katina Pinkam of Vidyaloka temple will be held on 30th November. The Perahara, the cutting rope will leave Mr. Dayaratna's house 3 a.m. It will go the village before coming. Then the temple, all the devotees are invited to take part. The special puja held at the temple in the morning, Dayaka Sabha. Right, it is the question. So, uh, the answers are in the box below that. So, when you go through the answers, you can see most of them are prepositions. Yes, in the first lesson, we learned about prepositions. May I remind some of them? We use on before a date, right? In the first blank, so the answer is given as on 30th November, right? Then we use in or at for a place and also we use to denote an exact point of time. Hari itam belawa kian at pavijikan nama istana ikat in ho at pavijikan nama on the dini ikat on pavijikara. That's why we have written the answer for the first one as on. Right. Let's look at the answer for the second one. The perahara. Yes. A teacher with black hair. A man with a heavy. On the barabagya got the manusik in now. Right. In the same, the perahara uh, with the cut in a row. The perahara taking the cutting robe. Yes, the perahara with the cutting robe will leave Mr. Dayaradna's house. Yes, for the third one, it is a time. So, let us use the preposition at to denote an exact point of time. Okay, the answer is at. Right, then it will go the village before coming. Can you use in the village here? No. In Kyanitula. It is used to show an enclosed area. So here, preposition we can use here. It will go right round the village. It will go round the village before coming. Right, you know round means in a circle, but here in different parts of the village. Right. It will go round the village before coming. Yes, Pansalata Kilapi Avasankaramu to the temple. Right here too means the place where they are going. Okay. Then all the devotees are invited to take part. So what's the preposition we can use there? Yes, that is in. Always take part is followed by in. We know participate in. Take part in also the same thing. Sahabhagya nama. Take part in Kelapyava Sankarane. Take part in the special puja held at the temple in the morning. Okay, it's the last answer. So we use a lot of prepositions here. It will go round. 
actually it may be an adverb there, right? It will go round the village before coming, right? Let us move to another grammar area because the next question deals with uh, this grammar area that is articles, right? What are these articles? Uh, and the are called articles, yes? As you can see them, the words uh, and the are called articles. So, uh, where we can use a? Uh, we use a uh, or an with singular nouns, right? You know the vowels in English, a, e, i, o, u, right? They are the vowels, but the vowel sounds are different from them, right? We use a uh, with singular nouns which begin with the consonant sound. Yes, a topic. On the matruka wak. Apita matakino a dekka gamang alkaya na kiduot on the no. Alkaya na kia na a topic matruka wak. Right. We use and with the singular nouns which begin with the vowel sound. Yes. What are these vowel sounds? Right. In the example here, it say should be a definitely noun. But uh, the uh, vowel sound, what is the vowel sound, initial vowel sound of this essay? A, right. An essay, okay, a topic, but an essay. All right, let us go on. We use a or an when we speak of someone or something for the first time. We use the when we mention that person or thing again for a second time. Okay, let us take an example. Someone says, I bought a bicycle today. Mom bicycle ya gatta. Right, then we ask questions. So, what is the color of the bicycle? What is the brand of the bicycle? When we talk about that bicycle for the second time, we can use the instead of I. Yes, is that clear? Right, let us go to another point. We use the before ordinal numbers. Yes, the 3rd of December. Right, dates always start with these ordinal numbers 1st, 2nd, 3rd of December, 4th, 5th. Right, right, then we use the where the listener clearly knows which person or thing we are referring to. Let us look at this example. Collect a copy of the application displayed on the notice board. Yes, there is only one application in, in, in on the notice board. So, we are clear about it. So, we can use the, the right. Let us go to the question. The following is a notice displayed at Vijay Bapi River. Read it and underline the most suitable word in brackets. The first one is done for you, right? Again, this is a question taken from 2019 Mulika Pirivana final examination paper. Yes. Notice, the English Literary Association of Vijay Bha Pirivana has organized, right? What may be the answer here? competition on essay writing. English Literary Association, English Sahitya Sangame Sangvidani Kallatiyenne Mokakta a competition Tharangaya. So, why don't you put a there Tharangaya. We have to underline the answer, but I also have written the answer, but you have to underline. You have to follow the instructions correctly. Right. For grade 5 students, it will be held on Yes, 3rd of December, it is an ordinal number, 3rd is an ordinal number, so let us put the right. You can select, what the store is going to be alkaina a topic, a topic from the topics given and Right. On a Rajana Vakli unknown. A O N 
can be used for singular nouns, but here essay. Yes, the essay starts begins with a vowel sound. So let us put and there. An essay of about 150 words. Okay, right. If you are interested, or Kamathinam, collect a copy of there is only one application there, we know about that, we are clear about that application, so let us put the application, but it is pronounced as the application, okay, displayed on the notice board from your class teacher. For further details, contact a secretary, we use the, for the positions, handled by one person, a comma secretary in a, so we know about him. Let us put the secretary of the English Literary Association, yes, organizing committee. I think I do not want to read it again, okay, you can manage it, well, right. Look at this heading. Passive voice is more suitable for notices, right? The secretary says, we invite all these students. You know, active voice sentences should begin with the person or thing that does the action. Here the subject is, we, we invite all these students. Is there object here? Yes, all these students is the object. So, what may be the passive sentence of this? Yes, all the students are invited by us. This is the passive voice sentence. You know, passive voice sentence should begin with the person or thing that receives the action. passive sentences All the students nang object taking all the students willing. All the students are invited by us. Right, may I tell you another important point that you may need to know when writing a notice. Right, generally we do not use personal pronouns when writing notices. So, is there a personal pronoun in the first sentence? Yes, we. Can we omit that? Can we remove that? No, we cannot remove that. But in the second sentence, you see, you can remove this by us, because we write passive sentence when the doer is not important. So let us write it this way, all the students are invited, I remove that by us, right. In the first video, I told you uh, in notices, the sentences should be written in formal way, in formal language. So. Uh, try to write sentences in passive voice as much as possible. All the students are invited is a passive sentence, right? I explained that. So, let us see some other sentences uh, that I have taken from some other notices. All are expected to meet at 10 a.m. in the main hall. All are expected, right? It is also a passive sentence. Right, let us go to another sentence. Hurry, all the students are invited. They are the invitees. Right, all are expected. To meet at 10 a.m. in the main hall. Right, it is organized by the nature club. Look at the passive verb. You can see is plus past participle word. Here organizes the past participle word. Before that, we have to put be verb. We have to put a be verb. Here the be verb is, is right. Let us go to next one. A Ramadan campaign will be held on 25th July. Yes, here the helping verb is will be past participle is held. Right, this is a sentence written in passive voice in future. Right, then lunch will be provided. Lunch sapenu labe. Another thing lunch will be provided. Right. Let us go to another notice. This is a notice written in point form, rewriting full sentences. 
Yes, take some time and go through the question English day program Siri Nimal Pirivin. Yes, there's a day, time, venue. Then uh, there are events, a Dhamma ceremony, speeches, a debate, a drama, a quiz competition. Yes, right then the chief guest, there's a chief guest, right? We can see at the end all are invited. Right, let's go to the complete notice. What's the event here? We know the event is English Day program. Yes, let's write it first. The English Day program of Siri Nimala Pirivena will, we know the passive form, will be held on, you know, before a date, we use on, it's a preposition. 5th March is the date at yes we use a at to denote an extra point of time at 2.30 p.m. we are calling at dawn that was calling the near calling on you done in the period main hall it's the place right then the chief guest will be yes most venerable P. Ratanasar Yes. Then what are the events? Yes, the events are a Dhamma sermon, a speech, a drama, a debate, a quiz competition, etc. All are invited. Right. Then in the bottom left hand corner, we can see the date. Right. Secretary, English Society. Right. Let's read the complete notice. Notice. The English Day program of Siri Nimala Pirivena will be held on 5th March at 2.30 p.m. in the Pirivena main hall. The chief guest will be most venerable P. Ratanasar. The events are a Dhamma sermon, a speeches, a drama, a debate, a quiz competition, etc. All are invited. 2nd February, you can write the Secretary, English Society. Okay, let's move to another question. Yes, there is a question. You are the secretary of the English Society of your Pirivin. You have planned to invite a guest speaker, Dr. Nimal Parakrama for an awareness program. For all the students, about what? On COVID-19, write a notice to be put up on the Pirivin notice board. Use about 40 to 50 words. That's the word limit. Include the following. Date, time, venue, guest speaker, Invitees, venue is the place, others you know, right? Uh, then, invitees, right? Shall we go to another notice? This is the question. The art club of your Pirivena is going to organize an art exhibition in your Pirivena. Write a notice to be displayed on the notice board informing the students of your Pirivena to participate in this exhibition. Use about 50 words. Include the following. Yes, these are the things that you have to be included. What are they? Date, time, venue, which grades can take part in the exhibition. exhibition Closing date, and the person to hand over the arts. Yes, this is the notice. On the top we write as notice. Then the topic, art exhibition. Yes, the art club of your Pirivena, write the name of your Pirivena, has organized. What's the event? An art exhibition is the event. Yes, this is the date, on 5th of March, write the year, write this is the duration, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Anapi exact point, nevi, name sita, tunadakwa, write. In the Pirivin main hall, it's the place. Right, then A students from grade 3 to 5 can take part in the exhibition because we asked to write who can take part in the exhibition. One Tune Sita Payashi Shir Pamanai take part in Sahabagi and Puluang participate in the competition. Right, then there's a long sentence. What's that? Those who like to take part in the competition should hand over their arts or no before. Before 1st of March, write the year, 
එම දිනයට හරි කලින් හෝ on or before 1st of march to mr sunil amaratunga what is his designation the teacher in charge of art onna chitra bara guru tuma yes put the date secretary the art club right sometimes you may be given questions to be answered after reading a notice here are some that sort of questions let's see what they are what is the notice about notice a kumak ganad right can you remember the earlier notice we wrote these questions are from that let's see the answers this notice about an art exhibition right then the second question who can participate in it students from grade 3 to 5 can participate in it then the third one where is the event held yes the event is held in the peruvian main hall we have written it in passive right good uh, look at the question number 4 when will it be held kawad din it will be held on 5th march 2020 right then at what time will it be started it will be started at 9 am you have to use the correct prepositions there okay right you are walking in the school playground after some times you noticed that you lost your purse so what to do let's write a notice to be displayed on the notice board right there is such a notice you lost your bag in pirivena last monday you are not sure where you put it write a notice to be displayed on the notice board yes what have we to include a brief description about the bag on ape bag ekena tiuna api liyenawa bag ekena keti vistarya contents of the bag what was in the bag one of the bag ekena tibuni then a request illi mark to return it if found oya gatto tapita dannanne kiyala api liyenawa right this is the notice right you can feel the missing parts with these answers which are in the box below yes notice heading lost nathi magnisa api damu lost kiyala i lost my bag in pirivena kohida nathi vecha place ek in pirivena then the date on monday 15 june you can write the year i am not sure where i put it we took them from the question we took those words from the question okay then it is a brown you have to write an adjective there it is a brown cloth bag ready bag yeah there was what was in it there was a pencil case two exercise books and an english textbook inside it eka tula tibuna then the last sentence if you find it please hand it over to the office right then 17th 8 write the year then reverend b chandima grade 4 because he has lost his bag right in the same way if you find something when you walk in the playground when you walk somewhere then what to do again let's write a notice yes this is such a question you found a wallet at the railway station write a notice to be displayed on the notice board of the railway station what's the heading we can use there found well a brown wallet a brown let's take a purse a brown wallet with money in it was found yesterday 
write in the brackets, we can put the date, write in a place, the Ford Railway Station for place, what is the pronoun we can use? Yes, here we have used it. At the Ford Railway Station, you know we can use at or in for places. Okay, right. The owner can contact the security office of the railway station, for railway station, to unna volatile abaga na nang contact karga nona the security office of the for railway station to claim the wallet along with an identity. Apie ek taharu karan na to na apie kila. Yes. Identity proof, then the date, right. You can write your name there. Okay, good. We are going to go to another notice about an postponement. Yes, the answers are in the box below. What are the answers? SA, English Club organized due to notified situation. Right? What is the competition? Here the essay competition, Rachana Tarangya, Rachana Tarangya, the essay competition organized by the, organized by the English club has been postponed on the Right, then we can uh, write the reason, Corona epidemic, yes, due to Corona epidemic. When we Corona epidemic, we have to go to the Corona epidemic, we have to go to the Corona Right, we are familiar with this essay competition, so that is why we use there the essay competition. Right, then the new date will be notified on a danum dinu lebevi. It is a sentence written in passive future. The new date will be notified later, pasu danum dinu lebevi, when the situation is normal. On a tate, ata tate patun hama, yata tate patun hama, danum di idi dinia. Yes, then the date, 5th for 2021. Yes, then the secretary, right. This is a notice uh, uh, about an postponement. Okay, here you can see some events. You better try to write notices for the following events. A Dhamma sermon, a blood donation campaign, the annual cutting ceremony, an essay competition, the monthly meeting of the English Literary Association. Okay, you can follow the above examples we discussed in the first and the second video. That means this video. Okay, I know that you all have the confidence in writing a notice alone without the help of others. Yes, when we take all the questions, all the writing questions in your exam paper, you can understand this question is the easiest question. So, you must write it. Okay, this is the end of notice writing lesson. Thank you for joining us. Hope to meet you with another interesting English lesson soon. May the triple gem bless you.